Volkswagen are now saying they've announced on their website, in fact, that their new electric vehicles will be able to do 435 miles of range, meaning that's more than 700 kilometers on a single charge. And that's not using their new platform. That's using their current existing modular MEB platform. Is this actually possible? Can they do this? Well, they're saying they can do this by using their next generation battery packs. Now let's have a look at what they are and whether or not this is actually realistic. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back, everyone else. Great to see all of you. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Really does support the channel and its growth. How people learn about EVs. There's a lot of people who still think EVs have bad emissions. A lot of people think electric cars cost more than $100,000. There's lots of misinformation out there. So the more people that can see these videos, they'll realize that actually it isn't true. Now, Volkswagen does make some relatively affordable electric cars, but they're planning on actually releasing a cut price, sort of like an ID3 type car, which will cost $26,000 US dollars. That's what they've said, 25,000 euros, 26,000 US dollars, that's going to be coming apparently in a couple of years time. However, Volkswagen has drastically changed its plans since they fired Herbert Dies, the CEO. Herbert Dies wanted the company to have a to build a new electric vehicle architecture, basically a new skateboard that all the new cars would be built on top of, which would enable greater efficiency and much longer ranges and be much more affordable, also be much lighter. Not a lot of people realize this. There's a lot of people out there sort of spreading, I would say a little bit of misinformation here about Volkswagen Group's electric cars. They are, they are decent, but there's one big drawback to them. And there's one key reason why I believe Volkswagen's claims may not stand up to reality. That is, their electric cars are exceptionally heavy. For example, the Volkswagen ID3, which is not a very big vehicle, it's significantly smaller than a Tesla Model 3, actually weighs about the same as a Tesla Model Y, which is two sizes bigger than it. So one of the big drawbacks of the Volkswagen Group's platform is it's quite heavy, which is why I'm not so sure their claims of 435 miles of range or 700 plus kilometers in the real world will be realistic. If they are, their new batteries that they've spoken about, which I'll get to in a second, will need to be incredibly good. Now, the Volkswagen Group broke ground on a new battery factory, which will be building its first battery cell factory in Salzgitter, Germany. And they also unveiled at the time earlier this year, the Prismatic Unified Cell. This cell will be used in up to 80% of Volkswagen's vehicles. Scheduled to start production in 2025, the new cell plant, nicknamed Salzgitter, is expected to reach an annual capacity of 40 gigawatt hours, enough for around 500,000 electric vehicles. Now, Volkswagen plans on building at least a million electric cars per year in 2025. So if this plant is able to produce 40 gigawatt hours of batteries, that's nowhere near enough to, to actually be enough batteries for a million vehicles. They would need another, another battery plant with another 40 gigawatt hours of batteries. So will Volkswagen be using these battery cells in 80% of their vehicles? Absolutely not. That's completely uncategorical. That's categorically false. Any media media have been reporting on that. It's clearly not true. They'll be using battery packs from a variety of different battery suppliers. And apparently Volkswagen also plans on using lithium ion phosphate batteries. They believe that is a smart move. They want to do what Tesla's doing there. And it makes sense. So yes, Volkswagen will use these new cells in their vehicles. Will they be in 80% of Volkswagen's vehicles? Only if they make a small number of electric cars in 2025. That's possible, but that's not what they're planning to do. After Salzgitter, the next cell factory will be established in Spain. However, that one won't be completed until around 2030. The Volkswagen Group, though, plans to operate six cell factories with a total volume of 240 gigawatt hours by early 2030s. Now, we don't know a lot about this new cell. Volkswagen hasn't released much information, but they say that this new unified cell is, well, prismatic and is estimated to reduce battery costs by up to 50% with prototypes produced to date having demonstrated highly promising performance with respect to range, charging times, and safety. That all sounds good. 
However, there is one fly in the ointment. Volkswagen is basically admitting to the fact that it's slowing down its pace of electric vehicle transformation. It has increased its prices significantly through the range in Europe, and it will employ its plans on more cost-effective methods in order to actually make a profit from its electric vehicles, which it doesn't right now. These new methods will come in the form of a new announcement regarding an evolution of the MEB platform. So Volkswagen, rather than using a new platform, which is what Herbert Dies planned on doing, which would enable Volkswagen to have more efficiency and a better product, which would be lighter, they plan to just kind of change and evolve the current existing MEB platform. Volkswagen revealed that the MEB will now evolve into the MEB+. Plus. That's an improved iteration, which they say is going to take their electric vehicle architecture to the next level. While the MEB Plus name suggests an evolution, the automaker actually describes it as the next generation of MEB. Volkswagen says it will invest substantially in the development of this platform, which will result in improved charging. We're going from 130 kilowatt charging up to 200 kilowatt charging, and also improve storage technology as well as enhanced digital infrastructure and significant leaps in automated driving functions. Now, Volkswagen, they have had a few setbacks when it comes to automation. For example, they're getting rid of their Audi automation. They're kind of scrapping that. They also just got rid of a big company that had a joint venture with Ford. That was They spent, I think, several billion dollars into that joint venture. They've scrapped that, basically gotten rid of that company because they believe it wasn't going anywhere, wasn't going to produce what they needed. So there's a fair bit of work to do when it comes to automation for Volkswagen and also for Ford. They're both behind the eight ball, to be serious. So the new MEB platform is going to be an evolution. They haven't really said exactly how, but we know it will have Volkswagen's new batteries, prismatic cells. Will it have a structural battery pack? Not that they've disclosed. So I'm struggling to actually work out how Volkswagen will be able to lose enough weight from their new vehicles in order to make them actually be able to have this kind of range. And until we really find out what is so different in, in these new battery cells, why they're going to provide this extra range, I am a bit skeptical. Volkswagen really hasn't released any information to say this is what we're doing in order to achieve this. And if we don't know what they're doing in order to achieve this new range, which 435 miles would be fantastic, but unless there's actually a roadmap on how to get there, then I can't understand how they hope to achieve it. Now, they very well may achieve it, but we need some more information. Come on, Volkswagen, disclose more. Until you do so, it's just hype, unsubstantiated hype. But I think it's possible, but we need to see how exactly they're going to do it. Now, Volkswagen have made no mention of their upcoming SSP scalable systems platform, which I would have believed would have been able to pull this off. Brand new platform. It would have been a structural battery pack. It would have been more of an um, evolutionary move rather than just an upgrade of their existing platform. However, that was supposed to debut in 2026. Now, rumors are it won't come out until 2030, nearly eight years away. However, what Volkswagen want to do is they want to use some of the features that were going to be in their new SSP platform and put them into the MEB Plus evolution. Given its projected charging speeds of 200 kilowatt, MEB Plus will likely have over the MEB's 400 volt architecture with an 800 volt system reportedly coming to the company in 2028. But that's at the earliest. It might take until 2030 until they get that new system. Launched at the end of 2019 on the Volkswagen ID3, the MEB platform underpins more than 670,000 vehicles delivered across the group since then, including more than 500,000 EVs from the Volkswagen brand alone. Currently, a dozen vehicle models from the Audi, Cupra, Skoda, Volkswagen, and Volkswagen commercial vehicle brands are being built on this electric architecture. Now, I've got to point out, this electric architecture, it's not cheap to build. It costs quite a bit more than, say, competitors from Tesla and BYD. That's one of the key reasons why BYD and Tesla are doing so well when it comes to electric vehicle production and also making a profit on their electric cars. Now, if you look at the weights of Volkswagen's vehicles in comparison to, say, for example, the weight of Tesla vehicles, they are significantly a long way behind. So if Volkswagen want to get to this 435 mile range using their current vehicles, 
they would have to put a lot of batteries in there. Now, is it possible? Yes, but you're talking a huge amount of batteries. Now, for example, right now, Volkswagen gets less range using more batteries, significantly more. In fact, in many of its vehicles, it has 20% more battery size than an equivalent Tesla vehicle, but it gets they get less range because they're just too heavy. So Volkswagen would have to put a lot of batteries into their cars in order to get this kind of range, 700 plus kilometers. Therefore, these new cells, either they are just amazing and there's some really evolutionary technology here that none of us know about, or Volkswagen is just, well, playing with wishful thinking. I'm not sure which it is. Could be either. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.